First of all, a big thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Secondly, I love making car videos for you, but I need your support. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It takes two seconds and it means a lot to me. All right, here's today's video. Number one, don't use the gear shift as a hand rest, you lazy son of a gun. As drivers, we only see the gear shift, but what's happening in the manual transmission box is something not visible to us. Every time we change gears, the selector fork, which is situated within the manual transmission, is pushed against the rotating collar, and the collar is pressed into the gear that you want to choose. Resting your hand on the gear shift may cause the selector fork to come in contact with the rotating collar prematurely. In the long run, this bad habit can speed up that process and result in premature selector fork wear. Number two, don't use the incorrect gear to gain speed. For manual transmissions, the top gear allows you to cruise at higher speeds. However, to gain speed, you would need to go through the gears progressively to prevent the engine from undue strain. Using a lower gear at higher car speeds may cause the engine to reach the red line prematurely. It's better to progress to a higher gear before reaching the red line or when the gear indicator tells you to do so. You may also strain the engine while driving in a higher gear. You throttle to gain speed. Due to the gearing disadvantage, you would not only be slow to reach a higher speed, but it would also put the engine under a lot of strain. Number three, don't rest your foot on the clutch pedal, often called riding the clutch. Resting your foot on the clutch pedal would cause the clutch to engage only partially and hence creating more friction and wearing it out a lot faster. This would not only reduce fuel efficiency, it might cause the clutch to wear out prematurely. The best way to avoid this from happening is keep your foot well away from the clutch unless you are actually changing gears. If need be, rest your foot on a dead pedal, a non-moving piece of rubber or metal that's situated next to the clutch pedal. Number four, don't leave your car in gear at the traffic light. Waiting at the traffic lights or junctions with the clutch down, first gear engage and your foot on the brake can unnecessarily strain on the clutch. It's much better to change into neutral if you're going to be stopped for any length of time and to use the handbrake to keep the car stationary. When you put your car in neutral at a stoplight, you're lessening the general wear on your clutch. Number five, don't shift gears without using the clutch, you knucklehead. The clutch disengages the engine from the transmission every time you push in the pedal. The clutch is the friction disc that is used to transmit power from the engine to the transmission. In order to shift gears, you have to disconnect the engine from the transmission so you can shift. Shifting gears without engaging the clutch not only damages the transmission system, but has dire consequences on the engine as well. And finally, don't use the clutch bite point to go uphill. While going uphill, many of us tend to hold on to the clutch bite point. The bite point is when the clutch plate engages the engine plate to stay steady on the incline and prevent the car from rolling backwards. This would result in great wear and tear to the material of the clutch and you would need to replace it prematurely. Many manual cars these days have the hill hold feature that's able to hold the car for about two to three seconds after the brake pedal is released. This gives sufficient time for the driver to make the switch from brake to race pedal and hence prevent the car from rolling backwards. All right, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you if you haven't already for subscribing. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Every Man Driver. See you next time. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video. This is a 2019 Lexus IS350 all-wheel drive with the F-Sport package. Under the hood of our tester is a 3.5 liter V6 mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. Good for 311 horsepower, 280 pound-feet of torque, and those are 18-inch F-Sport sport five split spoke alloy wheels and all season tires hi i'm dave erickson with everyman driver and today 10 reasons why you should seriously consider the lexus is as your next mid-size luxury sedan